Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Spark of Genius Flesh and Blood production, classic constructed gameplay review. So this is the Calling Antwerp. This is round uh, round 12, a Swiss round 12 out of 13. Uh, so these, these players are generally fighting for, like, top eight standing and such, so it will just generally be on a high table. Uh, I'm joined by my co-creator, co-commentator, co-caster, co-compatriot, Rob. Hello. And my name's Eric, and we're going to be doing Azuri versus Reinar. Getting, so, getting some Reinar in there. Getting some Reinar in there. It's kind of wild, but... Well, it's not wild. You just, like, set up Blood Rush and pray, right? But, um... <laughs> Reinar I'd can, say it's can always... Pray. There's always one Reinar that's going to slip through the cracks. As is yeah, one Reinar they got... One Reinar they got the Blood Rushes off, and everybody else just exactly. dies by the side. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. Uh, this is not the same Missouri that was uh, featured in our last um, class Constructed review video. So this is a different Missouri, so I am not sure if the deck is at, at all the same. Mm -hmm. I think that was Sebastian on Zuri before, I believe. So uh, we can start the game. We can see kind of yeah, what. Yeah, I think they're still like setting up anyway. Here. So yeah, so we have the Reinar side going gamblers, and then everything else pretty standard: crown, tunic, and scabs. Uh, don't yeah. know what the equipment is on the Zuri side is. Also, don't know who's going first or second. I don't think they're old. On um, there's the no, fist bump. Like they did. No, I don't think they did. Um, no. Yeah, gamblers is fairly the... common in Reinar. Yeah. I don't really think so you swap see... it out very often. Okay, so uh, it looks like okay, this looks like whisperers as the boots for Azuri. So black tech whispers. Yeah. That is the attack reaction that's only viable on assassin cards. So you are able to get go again on hit. So it is a conditional go again. But mm -hmm. it does give you the armor. I'm not sure if it's like cyborg mainboard. Again, not really sure of the list. Uh, yeah. Main weapons here we have a uh, spider's bite and nerve scalpel. Scalpel. So, Pretty reasonable. I think Reinar is gonna be running some uh, sink belows and something like that. We see a Ooh, turn scabs zero. Turn one, got a one. Turn zero. You know, if you are gonna get a one, now's the time to do it because it's basically yeah. the lowest risk, highest reward situation. Yeah. Imagine, um. imagine uh, rolling a one on the first turn and it not mattering on the rest of your rolls. So. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Keep exactly. rolling a one. But black so tech is kind of interesting because you, you're not really going to use it on most of your stealth cards because you want to zero them, right? So you're going to probably want to save it for like sure. some of the bigger attacks, like cut the. It's a good turn. <laughs> yeah, it's that's a great, very strong for ten on two turn. cards. Um, the one that's like plunder the poor, like some of those higher attack, I guess contract cards. If they're run in this deck, I don't really know. I guess you would know more than I if that's really a card that you would put. In I think he, I think he has to. Like, he doesn't have to have to, but the like, pool, when you're the running pool whispers, is pretty small. Be, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you're only contract cards instead of the main ones. Like, you have um, leave no witnesses. The, the, the big points. ones, the majestics. Yeah, but that's really it. Unless you're running some of the, um, like plunder the poor, as you said, uh, annihilate the arms. Oh, did Reiner say like no block at all? I'm actually a little surprised because Reiner typically likes can. blocking this out, and. You know, you don't really want to play Blood Rush unless your Tunic is up, because it's just like a free Blood Rush. It's, it's so strong. Mm -hmm. So I really wonder what the Reinar's on... plan is with a full five-card like... hand. Only on turn two. He might be... It's kind of awkward, because... Okay, he no, had no, the Blood just, Rush, so he's blood... going... He's just going to Blood Rush and pay for it. <laughs> I guess, you know, turn one, draw Blood Rush. Actually, was he going to roll Scab Skins with the Blood Rush in hand? That's interesting. Or turn one, uh, he rolled with, with Blood Rush in hand, so I guess he, he might have, had he might have been like... for it. He might have just been pitching. Oh, he's got the beast with him. That's so lucky. He might have been pitching for. Um, he got the skull crack too. That's skull pretty crack. Good. Yeah, not really great in hand unless you're like, if unless you have more discard six. mechanics. It's yeah. still a six. Still a six for two. I wonder, wonder if that means he's gonna roll scabs. I'm not actually sure. He. Um, that roll was just to intimidate. Yeah. Um, that was intimidate. Yeah, I'm not sure if he rolls scabs here because he, he drew the skull crack, right? So. You, Maybe. Well, I don't know if... Well, yeah, I guess you have Gamblers, so at least you have some fallback for it. Typically, it's Claw, Claw, Attack, Action card. Because um, you, pitched, you pitched the Blood Rush, and then you discarded Beast with it. So you got three cards out, three cards in, right? One I think so. Within, yeah, Pitch, Card, blood rush. Discard, Draw 2, Draw 1. Yeah, it should be 3 for 3. Yeah. Is he, is he still at 5 cards? I believe so. Yeah, I believe well, the Beast wild, Within is huh? just... Uh, yeah, exactly. You have your, your full hand that you, you know, five cards, you have the one pitch, and you have the buff on all your attacks, plus two. <laughs> so, yeah, very nice. Okay, pitching a sink. Unfortunate draw by Blood Rush, probably. Uh, I don't know yeah, if you risk playing Blood Rush if you have a sink blow in hand. I think you use that to defend and guarantee the, the, mm. the discard on the six. 
Let's pitch sink below. Yeah, I, I, I don't know if he drew with Blood Rush hmm. or not, or he had. He, I don't think he, he had an opening. Turn. He also he might have another discard card, maybe like Alpha Rampage or something, where you don't want to. Yeah. You want to make sure you guarantee the Intimidate by not discarding your sink below. Um, that's a That'd very nice card good. to play. So actually, pretty his hand was all red plus. Yeah, okay. Actually, pretty bad. Pretty bad luck has, actually. Still has one in hand, no. Um, that looks like five. Looks like oh no, you're right. He has uh, one more to arsenal. No. Yeah. It looks like he's holding another card, he, unless he's just chilling. If we counted correctly, he should have had five, and he played four. So, uh, oh, the quick and come. <laughs> I, yeah, I always forget like that gives the quick. Yeah, full block. Yeah. So on that turn, we had a claw for five, and then swing big for ten. So fifteen damage, sure. not the greatest. Oh, he did have for, a card. There he is. did take. I think he took ten on the on the e strike. So, I don't know. I'm not sure how much I like that trade, especially because he had to pitch a yellow to play his blood rush, and then he ended up drawing like three reds, right? So it's... I mean, yeah, surely, surely you're not counting on the three red draw, right? No, no, no. That's a little unlucky. Um, I just don't know how eager I would be to play the blood rush. I right. maybe knowing that Azuri is so disruptive, you probably want to play it as fast as you can because Azuri's got mm. way too many tools to get rid of the arsenal, right? Was that the second blood rush? Ooh, my goodness. Actually, would he have... I'm trying to think if you play the second Blood Rush on that previous turn, right? Because it must have been an option with that hand. I didn't yeah, really see then, what was discarded, or what was pitched, but... You might fix your pitch. Sink. Yeah, he you pitched a sink. Pitched well, he had one floating, too. Oh, no. You're right, you can't actually pitch sink. So, you pitch the sink to Claw once, mm. and then you pitch something else to Blood Rush. Because you don't want to risk the Blood Rush discarding the sink below, if it's still in your hand. Yeah. Because if that does, then your turn's over and you wasted two blood rushes, which is really, really bad. Yeah, uh, we do see the claw for five here. I think he discarded uh, Smash and Stink. Smash and like. Stink, Still. yellow. Yeah, yeah. Uh, something to note: we did see a block Dropping plunder the dice. poor. Uh, plunder the poor. So it is probably he's got some contract cards that are not like super super <laughs> standard. So it's a good point. Important to note. Um, yeah, yeah. That he might just have more three blocks than usual. I think he's running like a somewhat hybrid build of the hybrid build, which is kind of funny. So, hybrid uh, of hybrid. <laughs> yeah, like you're running nimbleism, but you're also running contract. So that's true. You know, they're hard. Yeah, they're kind of mutually exclusives, right? Because it's yeah, like you don't really want to. Yeah, yeah. You're on shred, but you're on death touch. See, I, I think I think he just didn't didn't know which way he wanted to go, so he just included both. <laughs> just do all um, of it. <laughs> Okay, yeah. so we're seeing enough pitch to be able to claw twice. That's what you want to see. Yeah, this would have been really good in the last hand, I guess, with a double blood rush. Mm -hmm. But I'm thinking now that because Azuri has such a health lead, if like he leaks 5 to 10 damage on this blood rush turn, he's still looking pretty good because Reinhardt played two blood rushes and they're equal health. Yeah. In my opinion, that's that's a win for Azuri. Sure. No, I'd say that's accurate. So. Best case scenario here is just a big attack. I guess swing big would be pretty good here, yeah. I guess. And as it should be. <laughs> there oh. it is. <laughs> yeah. That would be like the best case scenario, and there it is. Yeah, Coming there it is. Because there's no one hits with Reinar, so I think the best value you can get is the uh, swing big, two for eight. Yeah. So that is a two nice ten. Eight. Oh, they've got an upgraded dice. Because ours don't even go up to ten. Wow. <laughs> there's, a, there's a square corner. He's got another fate, though. Uh, uh, that's quite lucky. Azuri, yeah, Azuri got a fade early and was able to arsenal it, uh, which is pretty good in this scenario. I think it's like, it's better in, um, mm. like, um, man, what's that? What's that first card called? What's that rare card? The rare uh, for Azuri. Beatdown. No, uh, Reinar. Barraging beatdown. It's better in that uh, scenario where you're barraging... able to block cards. Barraging. Yeah, beatdown. Oh, the rare. Yes, yes, the beatdown. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the rare. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah so yeah, like yeah. when when you have beatdown, then you have a. Uh, one card in hand and fate in arsenal you're still able to block for two cards right right to avoid, right. To avoid that plus three that's... or plus four that you would get from beatdown yeah yeah so, so it looks like just card. arsenaled yeah it looks like he just arsenaled his last card that was um intimidated <laughs> another uh, blood rush bellow it's like a very aggressive scab skin roller got the two that's I... better than a one i think you just push your advantage at this point well i quote unquote advantage i mean two blood rush two blood rushes back to back i'd say is an advantage but they're like equal health, right? So yeah, my issue is that um, I don't know. You're two blood rushes down and only at equal health. Yeah, which is and thirty health at that. Not scary. even not even equal low. It's like equal high. Yeah, it's it is scary weird. for Reiner because that's that's really the only out you have. Um, a, a 
something, something bellows. bellows. Something bellows. Clearing be awakening bellow, maybe? No, it's not awakening. No, it's not awakening. It's clearing, clearing bellow. Or something? I think it's clearing. Yeah. yeah um, okay. I think this just is. A, I think it just intimidates. Just yeah. the intimidate. Yeah. So it's it's a weaker, um, barraging beat down. Like smash instinct will intimidate another one, I think. So yeah. we could have a double intimidate, I guess. I mean, the, the thing is, I think this Reinar build is actively good against this Azuri build because this Azuri build looks mm. very defensive with the contract card. So if you're able to just like intimidate a bunch of the contract cards, so right. block for three, you're innately kind of removing the advantage it's of true. that slower game plan, right? It's true because uh, intimidating means that Azuri gets to keep more cards on her turn. So it's like, it's do you really want to play all these cards? I don't know. It's possible that if I was Reiner, I'd probably be like, seeing Contract Animalism, I think you might just like, the Zuri sideboard might just be like the aggressive sideboard, but like your mm. core deck is still like Contract Defensive. Right. So that's why you see Nimbalism in there, but you also see like the um, Black Tech and Plunder the Poor and stuff like that, right? So yeah. I think it might just be like a sideboard hedge and it's not leading one way or the other. Because I think the more aggressive Zuri builds would be better into... Reinar, the more aggressive yeah. disruption builds, right? Because yeah. then you can just like th intimidate two cards. Those two cards could literally be uh, Nimbalism, Leave No Witnesses, or Nimbalism, Leave No Witnesses, or like yeah, exactly, like, even even some stealth card or whatever. But yeah, it might have been just the aggressive package in the sideboard that yeah. Azuri is playing out. And when you're playing into Reinar, you typically do want to put in your aggressive cards because Reinar um, typically does not like aggressive decks. That's usually what plays really well into Reinar. Yeah. We are seeing a block no, fair. for three. I believe backstab is a three block, so taking three damage. Taking yeah. three damage. So it looks like he kept a card. Um, yeah, I chose not to block with it. Important. Maybe he wants to use the, use the quicken and just go, go ham. Well, <laughs> I mean, there's no on hits. Like, Rhino doesn't really have on hits other than CMC, right? And it's not really his on hit. There's so much. It's right, like it's not even a brood on hit. It's just a generic. Yeah, but here's Wait, the spike. Is he wasting the... Is he wasting Quicken on this? I, I think so. I think it has to go through. Yeah. yeah, unfortunate. That's interesting. It'd be really nice if you had like a stealth or a contract card, and then you just like plunder the four with go again. Super good value. True. Those cards don't those cards don't have go again. So yep. I think only Arachne and Blitz gets the go again on the uh, stealth cards. On the first one, yeah. Yeah, yeah. On the first stealth card. But I think I wonder what the rest of his hand is. That just looks like objectively not knowing <laughs> literally anything else. Seems like the worst time to use yeah, it. But. Yeah. Using the uh, tunic there's a shakedown. shakedown. Okay. Uh, didn't even Azuri it out, so this is just a very honest shakedown. <laughs> the most honest it's shakedown you can see. Yeah, but it's, it's it's shakedown from Arsenal, so he can't Azuri it out. But oh, that's true. Little, that's true. It is a little sad because his hand looks like a backstab. No, it looks like shred, isolate. So okay. he does have shred for the. That might be the card he kept. Like he, he might have not blocked with shred. Ooh. So which we're going is gonna for have a nice shred seven. target with that pack hunt. Yeah. So at least there's a shred target here, which is great. Um, interesting that. Well, yeah, you don't really want shakedown to hit, especially if you're blocking with multiple cards. You're probably keeping something yeah. good in hand. So shred would yep. be pretty devastating if this could hit. Um, is that a red? It looks like a red shred. I think it's just literally just against sink, like sink below. Sink. And, uh, reckless swing. Reckless. Yeah. Oh, and he had the he sink. That fade. that was lucky. Oh, sorry, the the fate. I mean, the yeah, that, that was pretty lucky. Yeah, shred resolves, targets the hunt pack hunt, and then that resolves. You play the fate. You don't want to respond yeah. to shred with the fate. That'd be bad. Because good you point. Can you want them to target yeah. first. Yeah. Target resolved and play the fate. Uh, mm -hmm. So that fully blocks it, obviously, because it's red. It's zero for four. Well, it actually it goes one over because you're using a shred to. Yeah, them, exactly. Zero, right? It wouldn't Blocking have been enough one. either way, but still, if if it would have mattered, if that one health or one defense yeah, he's, mattered, he's blocking six. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's actually kind of funny because you red shredded a two blocking card because of the spider spite, so that's pretty funny. Oh, it's, it's like true. It was two block. I forgot about spider spite. Alpha, yeah. alpha into the beast within, getting it looks like the pack hunt. I think. Oh, he had that many cards left. I guess he only blocked with yeah. two. He, only he blocked, blocked with one two. Card. Well, he used the, oh, one the, card from hand. the fate. Yeah, one yeah, card yeah. From hand. yeah. Yeah, it looks like he did get pack hunt. Yeah, that's very lucky. That's the second time he's discarded beast within. But I think he, he was able to... That was his only card in hand, though. I think it was the only one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Unless... Um, he had a blue... He had the card... blue... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Reckless he, and Beast. He had two cards in hand. Or... No, he had three cards. So I think that was a 50-50 discard. No, he just drew it. He had a blue, oh, a he Beast, just drew it. and an Alpha Rampage. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, he sorry. That, that was... It. Yeah, yeah. So it was guaranteed. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, very yeah, nice. It was guaranteed there. No, I think that's why he only blocked with a card. Because he had that and Fate. So it covers literally everything. So right. he just keeps the... The blue and guaranteed discard. Yeah, it's a nice. card. 
Because he knows he's getting arsenal. He's within is gonna find something. Like he can't not find something. It's just how, how how much. It's just how much digging you want to do. How much how much punching are you gonna have to do to yourself? Yeah, you yeah. Right? <laughs> look, nope, punch. Look again, nope, punch. So I remember taking is, like five six damage to base within. It's pretty bad. This is gonna leak damage unless he wants to commit. Yeah, armor, it has to. I don't to. think he does. It's it almost six. impossible to block an alpha rampage fully. It's just so good. That's why if you're looking to close out games with Reinar, it's your Alpha Rampages and your Blood Rush Bellows. That's the only real way. Or you can roll Scab Skins and get two six attack plus attacks off. That's the third yeah. way. <laughs> oh, was is that a, Did he full block that? Did I, or did I miss no, something? No, I think the, the life counter is... Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. So it took three damage, he, he, or four, no, five, should be taking six. more, because he only, he only blocked three on the nine, right? So, it took six. so he's going to take six. I, I dislike how much damage Azuri is taking with that many cards left in hand. Like, he could have blocked six and six. Like, he's he's now come... Okay, so here he's Nimbleism. Ah, that's the process. combo you were talking about. Yeah, so this is very yeah, good. But, but, okay, I, I, I disagree with this. And the reason yeah. is because, like, why would you keep the blue if you're coming in for seven anyways? Okay. Like, like is it worth three life to do this? Instead of playing them, Instead of just playing the... Um... Uh, Nimbleism, leave no witnesses. Leave no witnesses. Yeah. Unless, uh, unless the card he kept was Nimbleism or leave no witnesses, but it looks like he kept isolate. If he didn't keep isolate, then so okay. So if isolate was the card he kept, then that, I think that's bad. If okay. isolate is not the card he kept, I think that's fine. Okay. Right? Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. Now I don't, I don't know which one is which. Ooh, oh, I got the file on this one. So that is important to know. So we might want to go back after after the fact and see if we can figure out which one he kept and which one he didn't. But the the very first time when he, I think he kept the shred or he kept the other card, probably the shred. He kept the shred to try to land the shakedown. Mm -hmm. I think that's too greedy. I think you block with the shred and preserve three life because he just got blew, he just got blown out by the fate for seed. Yeah. Which is like he used the shred to make a two into a zero, <laughs> and he just got fate for seed anyways. <laughs> so. Yeah. That's that's definitely kind of bad, in my opinion, just objectively using that hand. I think you just block for three here, mm. because you're going to have cards like this. Very, very smart. Very smart to play Barraging after the first claw, because you can bait out of blocks, yeah. and then now you can make full. You can kind of take full advantage of the Barraging. Which, which he did get. Like, he did get the uh, he did get the first block out of the, the, he, the he claw. Did. Right? Yeah, so he baited that out correctly. He's hoping that, yeah, so Azuri's going to give two cards to bring that down back to a, um, back to a four, great. or a three block. That's fantastic for Reinar getting two card blocks yeah. out of uh, claws. Like that's fantastic. I, all he did was pitch a single blue card, I believe, for both claws. Yeah. Or maybe I forget if Tunic was active or not. If it was, then that was great. If not, he pitched two cards for it, which is still fine because he got three yeah, cards. Yeah, he, did, out of he didn't. Yeah, he didn't discard anything for um, no. the the effect. He just used scaps for that. Yeah, so precisely. That's fine. Yeah, uh, we do have yellow isolate coming on the Azuri side coming into. Okay. Blue? No, it must be red. It's coming out. Uh, it is red. Yeah. Another barraging. Uh, oh, if he could have played that with the other one, it would have been so good. Like eleven attack I claw. Just drew it. Probably <laughs> yeah. just drew it. Well, eleven attack, but it would have been diffused with two card block, right? So, oh, I well, guess he would have got one more. Hit. Hit yeah. Yeah. I don't. So did he have been... a pitch? Oh. Uh, that is very nice. Roll the six off scabs. This is how I you should play, Reiner. Rolling scabs every turn. Rolling the one. <laughs> yeah, Literally yeah, yeah. took it all out. Like he rolled yeah. one, two, five, he got his six. Bad luck oh, out God. of it. He's got yeah, the one, savage two, five, feast. That's oh very good. Oh my god, he's got the savage feast too. That's yeah. that's broken. So drawing a card, two more action points. Savage feast is a great engine if you have action points for it. It's the only yeah. thing that doesn't really. Well, it's one of the only things that could really benefit from a go again. It, it's true. It's it's really like it is your one replacement, right? That and beast within. Uh, exactly. But like beast within, you don't do it if you play. You have to discard beast within. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Just imagine if you like you get both of them on that turn. It's like. <laughs> pretty chill like you could swing for six three times which is kind of good right um if you had those those kind of things but if you're discarding the six your claw, your, cl your claws have to go again Ooh, there's case, the so codex swing claw, claw. okay full block thing below yeah but um the... reinhardt's getting really lucky i mean it's obviously that's how you want to you know reinhardt has to get it, lucky there's an rng base hero that's yeah. core that is the yeah, mechanic yeah. but all right claw so was... since he did discard now claw is a yeah, go right, again go yeah. Blue, blue record on. Yeah, not a bad discard because he already pitched a blue. So you don't really want too many blues in your hand. So I think that's a fine sure. discard. 
Especially because yeah, um, a lot of cards are like they cost like one or two. So it's not so bad. So that looks like a pack a, call or pack hunt. I'm it sorry. Is a, it is a pack hunt. Yeah. yeah. So one so more intimidate. It is a, it was fifteen, huh? So uh, like 15, like six. The turn, three, the turn six? was fifteen. Yeah, that's as strong as the blood yeah. rush turn one. And he did get the intimidate and the double block, right? So. Yeah. No, no, sorry, no, no intimidate. He just got double block. Yeah, there was no intimidate <laughs> because he already just... got two cards earlier and then he got the blocks, so there was nothing left to intimidate. So he forced nine damage through? Seems strong. So Yeah. Hold on. So so Chris didn't block, but he could have, I guess. Um, let's see. He did not block on the Savage No, he blocked the Savage Feast with two cards. Yeah, but not he didn't block the claw. He didn't block the claw. Right, right. And then he, he didn't block the uh He chose not to block on the pack hunt. Yeah. Well, he, okay, so he's keeping this three card hand, which if is I'm not mistaken. Play. Oh no, I'm sorry. He couldn't. He couldn't have blocked. He blocked with two on the pack uh, on the um, Savage Feast, and he got intimidated two cards. So he actually right, had nothing okay. left in hand to block. Yeah. Okay, that makes more sense. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, so Reiner forced landing, that damage through. CNC landing, nothing in hand. Yeah, sorry, Reiner's, nothing in Arsenal. So Reiner's not like Arsling anything, so CNC is kind of a poor choice to keep. I mean, he. Yeah, well, he didn't have a choice. It was uh, banished. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, intimidate, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, um, actually, it's in the grave. What's in the grave? Confused. The C and C. He played it. You see, Azuri did. Oh, he Azuri that in. Oh, that's what happened. Yeah. Sorry. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he played. Az Azuri was Azuri probably did. one of the cards he had before that was intimidated. Right. That makes sense. So he couldn't have blocked with it because it was intimidated. You're right. Yeah. See, this is a better C and C because there's an arsenal card. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Way better. But um. <clears throat> Sure, yeah. Surely you just block for six, and that's it. Yeah, I see an E-Strike there. Uh, E-Strike, I see a Rabble, too. And or, is he, or he can crown. Yeah, he can crown here, that's fine. Yeah, this is this is okay, yeah. So taking one, but, you know, getting another card to hand, saving the arsenal, that's okay. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, Reiner is very happy to just play that in arsenal, I think. With this health lead, or life lead, Mm-hmm. All you gotta do is draw the last blood rush, and you're you're sitting good. Sitting pretty. Yeah, he's able to do oh, annihilate the arms. Okay, so he's running rabbles and nimbleism, and also annihilate the armed and mm. plunder the poor. So I think my I think my initial conclusion was probably correct that he's running some kind of like sideboard hybrid list mm. where his core deck is probably contract, probably. Okay. Um, Clearing bellows. Right. So he yeah. could black tech here, but he had he didn't actually. Oh, sorry, that's Ravel. I thought it was Plunder. For oh, yeah, yeah. So, he, so he's <laughs> no, going to come no in for E-Strike for, uh, e -strike Pro for 7. Probably 7 Almost here. assuredly. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it, it, could be, it could be 5 if he has, like, a Plunder the Poor. Oh, and he could also right, Tunic. coming for 9. Yeah, and he can also Tunic out. Like, yeah, Annihilate the Armed. Uh, Annihilate the Armed, yeah. I think best case scenario here would have been 5 into Leave No Witnesses. Because mm. uh, then you're pressuring the Arsenal. That's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, Reinhardt but... does not have block left on the Scabskins, I think. He might have no, used, I think he, I think he used it twice already, so yeah. no more block there. So a four attack, leave no witnesses, is very, very strong. Especially yeah. if that's a blood rush in Arsenal. The first block was the 2-2-2, two, 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 the shred turn. And then I forgot what the second one was. So it looks like you'll see a full mm. six, a seven here, sorry. Three yep. sink below. And... The spreading Plague? Oh. That's a Spreading Plague. That's a Spreading Plague. You're going to get two Blood Rots? Looks like. I think it's going to be yeah, two Blood Rots Yeah, two Blood here, Rots. So... Yeah, yeah. Very nice. I don't see that card played often, but when it does, like that's a one. But it costs zero, I believe, right? Or one. It costs one. It costs one. Okay. It's really only good against decks that block the two cards like fairly easily. Reinar, Bravo, Ultim, decks like True. that. Dory, True. maybe. Um, yep. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. Interesting card. Definitely. A little like niche, I think, but it it pays off here because I don't think Reinar's gonna really want to respect this. He rolled another three. What a badass! I rolled a six oh and God. got three action points. Yeah. Sorry, right, so, he rolled uh, another three action points. One, bad. two, five, six, six for the rolls. There's yeah, better one, and two, better. Five, six, six. It's getting better and better. <laughs> Just get swinged at. He's swing uh, claws here. Yeah, it's always funny when you're, when you're playing Reinar and you get a better roll than expected. You're like, oh, how do I use these now? <laughs> it's like always like you got to shift gears. Is it usually you like pray for two and three is essentially the same thing. Most three, of the time? three is gravy most of the time. Yeah, yeah. Like, he, he oftentimes you can't even use the three because you get go again on your claws most of the time. But the other time he rolled, he actually did have because the, Savage uh, Feast. Feast. Because of right. Savage Feast, that's a great way to use action points. It costs one, comes in for six, and it recycles your hand. 
because it draws. Uh, luckily, he did uh, he did have blue here, so he's probably going to be at least claw clawing at the mm. very least. Uh, he's got a tunic here too. So again, we see the claw first, then barraging into second claw. Very strong. Yeah. Does he have cards left in hand? I'm not actually sure. Uh, yeah, I think he must have one at least. Oh. Oh, uh, I don't think so. Oh, maybe not. Um, he did block. He did block two on the e strike last turn. You're right. So I think he's out now. Yeah, yeah. Looks like it's a blue. Blue barraging, but so was, coming in for five. That was still a fine turn. I mean, uh, on a, I think it was a two-card hand. He was able to pitch two blues. Um, no, he no, he pitched one blue and two nick, and he barraging. And he barraging, that was it. Okay, so still a two-card yeah. hand though, but he was able to come yeah. in for eight damage. Yeah, it takes four off the blood rot. Um, right. Yeah, it's kind of interesting. So yeah. nine to eighteen, you're literally just sitting and waiting for blood rush if you're the Reiner. Yeah. But how yeah, does Azuri yeah. get back in the game, right? So Lino Lino is is on no arsenal. He is, yeah. yeah, he is not drawing the arsenal hate when he needs it. Yeah, um, yeah. PNC on nothing. He just needed to turn nothing. one turn two when the blood rushes were an arsenal. Accurate, right? Yeah. I mean, um, and since then, it didn't really matter. To to be fair, Azuri, uh, sorry, uh, Reinhardt did have crown at those points, so you could just uh, crown it away if you wanted could've. to. Like yeah, at the very beginning, he still had crown. He, he would have for sure. You, yeah. When you draw a blood rush, you got to play it out. Oh, although he saves yeah. it. Sorry, so he would save it with crown and hopefully see it later. Yeah. Yeah. Or do you overblock? Um, I think he... I think maybe you you just sort of block with two cards and save the arsenal and just you know play it, play it safe until you can play it out from arsenal. Wait. I don't really think you yep. want to put your put it to the bottom of your deck because then you're not going to see it till the end of the game. And yeah, I don't think true. I don't think Reiner shuffles the deck. Uh, Unless looks you play like the um, Leave No Witnesses hit um, Alpha Rampage off the top, so Leave No Witnesses banishes a card from top and a card okay. from Arsenal. So yep. he's going to get one silver from hitting the I believe red cards. What Leave No Witnesses targets? I think so. so. Going to get yeah. the Alpha Rampage. This man is pretty good pick. Scabs. That's one of the win cons of Reiner's deck. So if he doesn't yeah, get that's... off the Blood Rush. Another six. He really needs Show me the use, other six. Uh, oh, there's, there's a three. three. It's okay. Honestly, it's fine because it? Reiner is able to just use the gamblers if he fails, or not. Oh, I mean, if his sure. if his hand is like really weak, he just rolls it, you know, and then okay, pass it on. It's fine. Arsenal. Surely you don't gamblers here. Oh, not now. I'm just saying if he fails to get if he gets a one. Oh, uh, if he gets a one, then he you like critically do. fails. Yeah. Critically yeah, fails. Yeah yeah. yeah, yeah. That's a critical fail right there. If I've ever exactly. seen one. Exactly. He's been he's been crit. He's been critting lately with those sixes, and yeah, the one at least yeah. you have a um, contingency plan against the ones. In e, okay, e strike. Anyways. E strikes. So um, I am not used to seeing e strike in Reiner. That's really good. It blocks for three. It's but not a six. He's power, picking but... go again. Yeah, that's the problem. It's not a six attack, and Reiner typically doesn't go that wide. So I don't know. I guess it could be fine, but. If you have Blood Rush in your hand and a strike, it's awkward. You gotta play a strike first, or you just this card, or you gamble it. I don't know. Isn't this this is isn't this card amazing with scabs though? Because then you just get to draw a card. It's essentially another. That's pack a good card. point. That's well, a good point. Sorry. If you're rolling scabs a... a lot, that's true. Because you can play it for five, draw a card, have your action point still. Yeah. I think that's like yeah. one of the main reasons you'd run a strike. It blocks for three, and it works really well off scabs if you're rolling scabs a lot. It's true. It's true. Uh, and it helps like if you miss scabs. It helps on this literally this situation where you can get cards out of your hand, right? Because you could pitch to claw and then arsenal. Yep. Uh, if he had like swing big, he could have came in for a two for eight. So you could come in for thirteen off missing scabs is pretty good. Mm. Um, so True. I, I think yeah. e strikes like pretty good. Like the, the only the literal only downside is to uh, discard. Like when you're discarding, you have e strike yeah. in hand. It's not six power, right? Yeah. But like it's great in, in every other scenario. Because yeah, even on a two card hand, case, zero for seven is fine. Yeah, exactly. Zero for seven. Uh, I finally got the leave no witnesses on the uh, Arsenal card. So that, that's kind of <laughs> The stars nice. have Without aligned any, uh, once. Yeah, unless we'll he just see. like slams the fate or something, that'd be pretty funny. Yeah, pretty or, disgusting. If, or if he has a reckless swing. Reckless swing's a bit awkward because you have to discard randomly. But if it's um, mm. you know, if you do have blood rush and Arsenal, it is tricky because you have to pitch your reckless swing for the um, blood rush bellows because you don't want to you don't want to discard the reckless. So it is a yeah. bit awkward to have it. But in this case, I think you have to block out four. And yeah, is, I think, I think he is two cards. giving two cards. So the, the arsenal might be important. Maybe it's Blood Rush. Maybe it's the third one. It, it could be, honestly. So swing big and CNC. That's, you know, it's, they're it's good cards, shredder. but CNC isn't yeah. excellent into a Blood Rush turn anyway. Because it, it yeah. doesn't get the buff like, from Blood Rush. It's not a brute card. 
I think Shred would have blown him out here, so good thing he didn't have the Shred. <laughs> it's true. Yeah, this would have been a great time to have Shred. Scabs uh, is just being rolled yeah. all the time. Let's what see what we get. get. Uh, it was a... probably a... F it was a six again. It's another six. <laughs> uh, well, he blocked two cards. There's no way he's using the three action points. I'm actually surprised he wanted two action points. Well, it's, oh, but he has no, the feast. He has, he has that's, the that's feast. Liter that's literally why. He oh, he had he had a he had a fade as well to combat the shred if he wanted to. Oh, and he discarded another. All three have got have been discarded. That's that's really good. No, that was a blue. It looks like. Uh, it's a blue for four. Like so he's, he's not going to get it. No. It's, yeah, it's, it's he's he's going to get the swing big under it. So he's going to take two here. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, exactly. That's interesting. So he. Yeah. Okay, but like. That's like not. I don't know what his tunic is at, but like, he, there's no way he affords it. He, like, he can't afford it because he only has one pitch. If he has tuning on three. Did he draw um, Savage already? Oh, I don't he think he did. I don't think he did. So he'd have two uh, okay. cards here. Okay. Yeah. He, so he he'll likely. Savage. Yeah, got it, got it, got it. So he could pay for swing big. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was a yeah. That was a two card. So it's a net card advantage. I think you discard one and get yeah. two. Yeah. Yeah, I think the best case scenario is Tunic's on three, and then you just pitch to Claw Swing Big, I think. Yeah, that would be excellent. Because then you're coming in for a 17. Okay. <laughs> Again, uh, these turns six, are, like, six, bigger six, than three, his Blood eight. Rush turns. Yeah, yeah it'd be so six, be... three, eight. That's 17, yeah. Okay, so it didn't up. have enough for the Claw. Well, actually, he, he might still, because the Claw... Tunic? He has an action point left. If Tunic yeah, is up, he might, he might, he might, still he might just able. Claw later. Yeah, he might just claw later. And he did draw blue with the um, the swing yep. big, so it was a bit of a lucky draw there, too. If it was a red, I guess he could have tunic with the red card, but then again, we don't know if tunic is up to three yet. Yep, but. that's true. Looks like he only has, uh, because of the Intimidate of uh, Savage Savage Feast here, he only has one card left in hand. Actually, I noticed uh, on my other screen, I see the full thing. Tunic's at two counters right now. So we know for sure he wouldn't have been able to. Yeah. So Not drawing sad. a red could have been devastating. That's a hurl. Hurl only locks for two, so he's going to be taking Oof. a lot. <laughs> and still no third blood rush bellow. I mean, it's coming, right? Like the deck is looking yeah. a lot thinner than it used to. It's true. It's true. I think he's at least half. This is where you double reckless and win the game, I think. Yeah, he did pitch one away, though. <laughs> Although he probably has... I don't know if you run three. In the decks that I've seen and that, I, that I've run, uh, I think two is the max. Because it's so clunky yeah. if you draw them. But in this case, yeah, it wins you the game. That is accurate. So... Ooh, nerve how does Zuri come back in this game? <laughs> is, there, is there an out? Yeah. I think the out is... I think the issue is this is Zuri, shake, but shake down. slow. It's a little bit too dependent on, you know, just like heavy, heavier blocking. That's that's kind of why I'm like, probably want to go back and scrutinize every time Azuri took damage that he mm. didn't have to. Um, probably yeah. not the probably the both of the not the blood rush turns. Both those both of the cards both of the times where he had oh, he uh, flicked. three cards. Did what did he flick? Oh, he flicked yeah. the other dagger. Okay. Yeah, I mean, the spider's he, bite. He must have a zero cost, otherwise. Yeah, I, I think he's. I think cost. he's thinking of okay, oh, codex. codex. Yeah, okay. that's that's great. Yeah. So probably. Well, I guess he could have had a one, could have had a one cost because of tunic. True. I wonder what he's gonna get. It could be a death touch. Would be great, right? Because he can play it out for six. Did he play a death touch? I didn't he played, see a block. Uh, he played one, I think. But I think it was a yellow. Is it yellow? I'm curious. Maybe. I forget if it was red or yellow. It would still be a good choice. Uh, I think it was red. Yeah, okay. there's, there's, there's a death touch. It was red. So, yeah, very strong into Reinar. Um, especially giving the claws yeah. minus one with frailty is, is really strong because mm -hmm. claws for two are just not that great. It looks like Reinar is going to get something. I. <laughs> Attack I action card. Probably a here. swing big. Just come in for eight. You know, a very honest eight. Seven. Or yeah. if he wants the seven, that's true. Um, or if he wants to get Savage Feast again and try to go for something big, it looked like yep. an E Strike. Okay. E Strike for just like a safe, you know, just a safe pick. Very Windless versatile. Six. 
vanilla six, or if you have some some wiggle room, you could just draw a card. You can roll scabskins again. Mm. Yeah, scabskins. Okay. You might just be depending on scabskins right now to be able to e strike into something. Yeah. So he did. He did flick the uh, the, the scalpel. dagger. So his yeah. His, uh, no, his spider's the bite. The I'm sorry. Spider's bite. So yeah. Back actions are going to be minus one here. Yeah. Uh, but he could just block with stuff like barraging. Uh, bellows, high roller, cards yeah, like that. Clearing bellows. He had the clearing high bellows, roller. Yeah. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Blue high roller. I think he only. I only saw one out of him so far, but I, I think he wrong. blocked with two. One turn. So I think there's only one left in the deck. Could be. Could be some D reacts too. It's true. Huh? Yeah, yeah. Um, it looks like he's <laughs> that finger motion. I don't know if he just wanted to take the six, because it it is pretty costly to give three cards for this block. Um, especially he, if you he, have a play that's almost guaranteed to be lethal, I think you just take it. I mean, you already have E Strike, so you have a go again, so you could do two things. You might just take six here. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. The that plus like a couple intimidates, you. and that's game. Yeah, the Blood Rod doesn't kill you. Blood Rod won't kill you because you'll, you'll be at four. Yeah. The um. Two. I wonder if Frailty is the play. It'll make E Strike go down by one more, as well as Claws come in for one. Even get a claw? I don't know. He probably wouldn't claw. I mean, well, Azuri is low, so maybe. He's gonna take the minus two. He might be worried about blood rush here. Okay, he took two frailties, <laughs> or he, he got yeah. one extra frailty. So that, that's really. I think, I think he's. I think he's worried about blood rush. Be my mm -hmm. guess, right? Because blood rush is gonna be the main, the main issue. Yeah, and uh, tunic is at three, right now, so he can yep. he can blood rush it up. Mm -hmm. Or a Seems tunic like out scabs is the order here. One more time. <laughs> you know, it's actually fine. I because... will... no, he's a no, it's three. It's fine because you have gambler's gloves. Honestly, I respect it. I respect yeah, it's, rolling it's gambler's gloves. It's much easier to keep rolling <laughs> when you have gamblers, right? Yeah, like you Until have like, you get a one, one free card. Yeah, right, yeah, that, that you... would actually lose the game. But it's a yeah. 1 in 36 chance for that to happen. It's, it's low, 3%. But it can happen. Yeah. It's all it's just as unlikely for two sixes to be rolled back to back, and there we were. There we were. Um, well, okay. Like, so he says, E Strike is going to come in for minus two. It's coming for three off a go again. Yeah. Yeah. You, you, can probably, you probably want to finish off with it for a, for a five. Yeah. But like, he might have been relying on scabs to do something. Yeah, it would have been great to play to draw a card. But then again, you can't use the action points for your other stuff. So it depends what he draws, honestly. But it would have been a good starter. Oh, the Alpha oh, Rampage. Rampage. That actually might be enough just to end the game. Looks like Pack Call is the the, the discard here. So you're going to have double Intimidate. Well, he'd force out the block. Um, we would need... So he would have two cards left in hand. No, I'm sorry. Um, it would be... He has armor, though. He does have armor. So it would force out Tunic probably force no, out. well it would got, force out the he's, boots he's got the boots yeah he's got the boots yeah yeah this would be double intimidate though be double intimidate yeah so two cards for six at best and he would have to give the boots yeah i only saw e strike as one of the cards in hand i think it in looks hand? like effect let's yeah, look at the strike in fact okay so strike in fact would block for six don't know don't know what his hand is outside of that but i think you just give them you give them both. I mean, and you die otherwise. <laughs> you well, no, I, 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 armor wise, I think you just give him the boots and call it a day and go to one. Go to no, one. Can can you go to one? Just die to reckless swing. Well, it's 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 zero or two. Like one. I mean, one or two is the same thing. Yeah, so you reckless just give him the full two. armor. I mean, tunics on zero. I think you just give them all the armor. Well, you either give them all the armor or go to one. And honestly, I would bank on their not being reckless and go to one because the health totals are so close. So, I think so the extra, the extra is, uh, card is probably more important. I yeah I, I, I think you give him everything. Yeah, okay. I think you just give him everything. Yeah, here. because the, the key is tunics on zero, and you've already oh, flipped once, and, and yeah. you probably have hurl in the deck. So if you have hurl in the deck, you could just pay into hurl and just flick the other dagger if you need to, right? So okay. it's not like you're out of options. No, this is the second hurl, so he probably has one more hurl. Ooh, that's a two block though. So he's going to one. Oh, it was Five, a two block. Seven, seven on nine. He's going to one here. Yeah, That's so he, he had to give both armors just to survive. Yeah. Yeah. Teague, wow. Teague. Well, he's got a flick, so he's got one more flick, which is kind of one immediate damage that there's nothing all he can do about it. Yeah. Um, yeah. So he's, he's effectively at three, right? Because you could flick on literally everything. 
<laughs> right, right, right. Um, yeah, finally goes to one, it's all over. Um, oh, double red. Oh, the cards he intimidated. There's the fate for scene. That's unlucky. It's tragic. Fate That's could tragic. have been a great card to block the alpha with. Uh, fate means he's at three. And he has hurl, so he would have had he would have been able to three go again and do something else. That's fair. Yeah, exactly. It would have been a seven block. Yeah. 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 So the, the the block was fine from uh, Azuri here because you can't even if you give another piece of armor, you're at two, and as you said, one and two are the same thing. So yeah, yeah. Um, oof. that is like the only <laughs> block oof. you can do. Yeah. So it looks like all he's taking yeah. the dagger. So scalpel. I think he's asking about the flick knives here. So since it's he on the chain, he can't, he can't flick. He can't it. flick it. He can't yeah. flick it. It's an active combat chain. Exactly. Yeah, so to, that's the uh, thing. You gotta always attack with the dagger that you don't plan on flicking, because you cannot yeah. flick that same dagger. Yeah, unless you're um, playing Closing the an chain. attack action. Closing oh, the chain or just an yeah. attack action. Then it doesn't matter. You can flick either of them. But right. it looks like he's going to right. three. That makes sense. That? I don't know what that card below the fate for scene was. Me neither, but it was a red. Yeah. Could have just been a two block. Could have been. Could have been. Yeah, so Reiner could have potentially intimidated the three block and the sink, or the fate, leaving him with uh, two two blocks, which would have been game, actually. You strike. Ooh. Does Flick Knives um, block? Blocks for one, yeah. Oh, it does block one, okay. So it he wouldn't is. have died, he has it there, yeah. Wait for scene or something. Ooh, very nice. Yeah. Sink Remember. below, full block on that. Three cards left, he can potentially block nine more. I haven't really seen what was in hand. Um... But it's very likely that Reiner is going to get some damage through. Just a little bit. It's funny, he, did, he chose not out. to roll scabs there. It's kind of suspect or suspect because you have the E-Strike, so you probably should roll scabs. <laughs> of all the times to roll scabs, this seems like a good time. Unless he has a guaranteed lethal. I think... Oh, barraging. Yeah, yeah so okay. you take a card. Well, it's going to be barraging and then pitch for like a six attack probably. So not lethal if he wants to give two cards. But if they're, if either of them are two block, it's lethal. That's correct. Which is, there's a good chance against the Zuri. Oh, nah, double <laughs> double barraging that's into game. Claw. That's, that's yeah. game. That's game. He's yeah. got one card left. That, the Claw wins the game. Claw wins the game. Yeah, yeah. Very good. Yeah, with that kind of hand, you do not risk. Uh, was that a Blood Rush he pitched? Oh, it was a Blood Rush. <laughs> Very nice. a, there's also a two block left in hand. Ah, uh, very nice. Uh, nimbleiz nimbleism is left in hand too. Yeah. So if you, you you keep nimbleism in a three block, any six power is getting there. A very good game. Um, and this was like for the fighting, uh, f your, your fighting chance for top eight at this point. So it's yeah. Let's let's go back to um, can we go back to that first time that he when he blocked? So he underblocked. He kept he, the card. He underblocked. Okay, I'll find it. All right. So. We see here the smash instinct from a little bit earlier in the game, coming in for six, just looking at those kind of pivotal micro decisions that might have turned the game. Yeah. I think this one is probably the biggest one. Um, and I think it's just, um, I, I understand the reasoning to a point, but we're just going to look at this uh, play one more time. So in this case, there's two intimidated cards from smash instinct, right? So there's um, yeah, smash I think instinct intimidating one card by itself. And I think uh, clearing, clearing might have been played before this. Yeah. yeah, it was clearing into smash instinct. Right. So the choices are really block with two cards for six or block with one card for three. Because the two cards... So all the cards in Azuri's hands block for three. Uh, we know that for sure because we saw the entire hand after the fact. So it was two blue stealth cards, I believe, and... Um, uh, that was and a shakedown? Oh, and, and shakedown from Arsenal. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was Arsenal. Yeah. So we see the blue um, backstab right. being blocked for three. So he's taking three here, which might not seem like a lot, but... As we saw at the very end of the game, it mattered. Having three health there matters quite a bit. Yeah, they would have been equal health, and it would have been easy, uh, easier, I would say, to come back as a Zuri. Yes, it's true. So what happens here is the plan is essentially there's another blue backstab, right? The plan is to Spider's Bite. Let's go again anyway, so it kind of waste to go again. Uh, yeah. Spider's Bite directly into the Shakedown from Arsenal. Now, the problem with Shakedown in Arsenal is you can't do Zuri. I think that the ma the plan here is to... I think the second card is already kept with Shred. Uh, right. Because the other two cards in his hand are, I think, Blue Isolate and Blue Backstab. Blue and backstab. I think you block with either of those. Because, like, Arsling either of those is not worth three health. That's that's a good right? point. Yeah. Right. So it ha it kind of has to be the Red Shred here. And here you do see the dagger does hit. Mm -hmm. uh, Shakedown comes out. Coming in for six, and the attack actions are, are minus two. Now... 
the the key here is how 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 can Ollie block? The the issue with this play is Ollie still has four armor. Uh, and right. then the attack action is only blocking for two, so you're blocking for the six here. Right. In I'm this case, it is it. six because of the minus one. Yeah. Yeah. Could could have easily been a, a three block off a non-attack action. Uh, he's also able to crown this. True. Now, here's where he placed the shred. He's she's shredding the two block. The two block. Yeah. So shred effectively only giving a plus two. And he chose to take three for it. Um, right. So on, on this particular play, I think that you get blown out by any D react. And what right. happens if shred actually lands? Because you're not shredding anything. You you literally, they literally have to have a D react for shred to be worthwhile. Because if you're already get a spider's mm -hmm. bite and make it minus one, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, maybe it's a non attack and they block for three. So the three is now zero, right? But mm -hmm. you're, you're still only blocking for. It's, all, it's six on the two, two. It's like, okay, cool. So you declare a card and try to snipe Blood Rush is like the very highest point. And at this point, yeah. there's only one Blood Rush left. There's only left, one left. So you're kind of, yeah, it's a little bit of a pipe. So, so you're essentially. And then, okay, let's say best case scenario that for some reason, Ollie just like plays the, plays the, the Fate for Scene beforehand. Right, so allow right. shred to allowing it to get full value for fate. Yeah, so allowing shred to get full value, it's like right. okay, so, so we shred has full value. But six like, on the four, ooh. and then it would it would come through. Obviously, it's still, it's still six on the six. That's the problem. You know what I mean? Like he's still blocking for six outside of shred. Oh, I because, see. Like, yeah, yeah. Because shred, pack, you can't shred both. Pack hunt is still a two block. Yeah. yeah, you can't shred both Pack Hunt and Fate Per Scene. You're shredding one or the other. It's like, okay, so shred the Fate Per Scene, and then you're still blocking six on six, right? right. Shred so, the so Pack Call. And essentially, fate... essentially, the Shred is trading for the Fate Per Scene. In, in either shred is scenario, it's really Fate Per Scene. So you're paying three health to keep the Shred to take yep. out the, the, the Fate Per Scene, which... Yeah, the fact that it's red has zero bearing on this turn. Yeah, yeah right? it could have been a blue, and it would have been the same. Could have been a blue and do the exact same thing. Uh, it just means that like Reinar now has like extra cards in case, extra block in case maybe there's a blue shred on top of this. And yeah. Then it would have completely gone stuffed, right? Like then you're literally stuffed. I think um, you, he's taking damage here to hopefully take tempo back in his favor, and you know hoping that reiner either gives him more cards to block with in which case here he had to give two more cards in, in addition to the armor or he takes the damage and then the shakedown procs so mm -hmm. i think either way it's a tempo play to take three but in this case it wasn't worth it because reiner's hand didn't really lend and lent to him having a very strong turn so yes. it was basically three damage for i don't want to say nothing but it didn't seem to pay off yeah, I think this is one of those micro decisions where uh, you might have seen shred and blood in your eyes kind of thing where you just really want to play it and get immense value. But I think mm. these small decisions for taking a little bit of damage here, a little bit of damage there. Is what kind of snowballed the game. Yeah, because if you don't have shred, yeah, they block. But you still got you still got brown scabs of the card. It's pretty good for it's true. raw shakedown. It's true. It's right? true. Um, and I think he would have given it regardless if there was a card in his hand still in uh, yeah. Azuri's hand, right? It was like, well, here here's enough to cover it. Yeah, it still means like when you spider spite C and C, then like you're 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 in good shape because right. like there's there's no way they can really do anything about it other than keep right. like, three attack actions or a non attack attack in the last pe pinch of armor or whatever because there's no crown left, right? True. And uh, that's that's pretty likely because there's Codex of Frailty, right? So you could have a CNC, you could have Codex of Frailty, like Azuri can get it back somehow, right? So yeah, I think this turn is probably the only turn I would point to saying a little bit too greedy on the Azuri's part. Like I understand mm -hmm. it, I think it's too greedy in this matchup. I think getting tempo into Reinar is like kind of whatever if you're not that aggressive a deck because you're still on mm -hmm. mainly contract. You had yeah. a bunch of Diria, you had contract cards. Like it's a good point. I think you see Shakedown and you really want to give it as much support as you can to proc it. And hopefully yeah, I don't. land a blood rush. Yeah, I I don't like this play versus like you're just not a tempo deck. Like not yeah. in this configuration anyway. It's like not with a bunch of contract cards. You're that's just fair. not really a tempo. Um, yeah. So yeah. anyways, that that's kind of like the one play we want to highlight from the review. But uh, if there's kind of other plays from Azuri or on our side that you found a little bit suspect, uh, let us know in the comments. And uh, with yeah. that, 
If you like this kind of content, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. Remember, you're watching the world on a good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Bye for now.